They turned my world to ash. One war will decide it all. That war begins now. So we are live, yo. <laughs> What's going on, savages? We are in the house with, you see the t-shirt, War of Crypto. Yeah, dude, right there. What's going on, Dan? Actually, introduce yourself and let the people know what are they about to witness. <laughs> yeah, so uh, my name's Dan, Dan the man. No, but um, uh, <laughs> yeah, so I own a, a company called Lucille Games, and we're just a game development company. Um, and right now, our newest and exciting project is uh, War of Crypto. So, Crypto. Um, you know, we have a lot of history in doing uh, games on Minecraft platform, working with a lot of big YouTubers in that industry, like Popular MMO, Sunday, Buckland, Vicstar. I mean, the list can kind of go on and on. Nice. Um, and we're just, you know, trying to take what we've learned there and try to develop a cool game with War of Crypto and use blockchain technology to help us out. So exciting times. Cool. Cool. So I just, I got to get a little, just a little bit of backstory. All right. Uh, go for it. You, what, what started you out in gaming? What was the uh, inception? <laughs> in gaming? Um, I mean, we're going way back, I, I, like from a little kid. I mean, I used to be addicted from PlayStation days, Pokemon. I was huge into Pokemon. Okay. PlayStation games like Spyro. And actually, I'm excited they're doing a remake. But I mean, <laughs> the whole list, World of Warcraft, I've been addicted to it all. So, got you. Got you. Um, okay, cool. Huge gaming background and passion behind gaming. Cool. So was your was your introduction to blockchain gaming, was it you playing or was it you making a game? Um, I mean, the introduction into blockchain gaming, it was, uh, I mean, so like with War of Crypto, we partnered up with uh, Engine, okay. uh, Engine Coin anyways. Nice. And I, I've had like a mutual friend that works at Engine that through like my YouTube Minecraft days, I uh, we, you know, we kind of knew each other a lot so then he started pitching me you know the whole blockchain <laughs> aspect what engines do and and i got hooked so i gotta develop a game on this so, you know it's always been kind of like a dream to develop like our own game that's not like on a platform like minecraft or whatever yeah. it may be so beautiful pretty exciting okay cool so let's jump in war of crypto was it uh was it a dream you had or was it a, a meeting how did this get burst into a uh, i guess a mixture of the two i mean because we also had to like kind of educate ourselves on you know what engine is doing and, and what the blockchain is able to provide but the idea behind war of crypto is just kind of uh just inspired by a lot of things from me growing up so i mean back in the day i used to play Yu Gi Oh a lot i don't know if you ever heard of <laughs> Were you a Yu-Gi-Oh master? Yu-Gi-Oh, man. Okay, dude, those, oh. <laughs> I mean, I used to plow like driveways and stuff, me and my cousin, so our parents could buy us packs and stuff like that. Like, Yo. those were the days. So, that was like kitty crack. <laughs> oh, man. Ah, I used to cry, like getting bad cards and stuff. I mean, we're going way back and now I'm embarrassed. Well. Myself, but um <laughs> so like just the, the collecting of cards aspect like i was never into the baseball cards or anything it was just Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu -Oh. um okay and wow. even inspired by pokemon like the way how these collectibles that you get you then use them to battle yeah um, so we've taken a lot of that and, and developed you know an idea behind war of crypto I see. And putting it all together so yeah, even because even with those cards, they started, they kind of started to get digital. You can scan them and use them. Yeah, they yeah, yeah, no, for sure. And uh, I think they, they just had a new game, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links or so. And, okay. And that was an app and, and they did really good too. So, I mean, like when me and my cousin were always playing, you know, we're always <laughs> like playing, battling each other. And we're like, dude, it would be so sick if these things were like holograms and yep. this and now yep. like day and age with technology, it's somewhat possible. So. Um, okay, so kind of cool. I'm looking at this countdown on War of Crypto. It's yep. warofcrypto.io, 18 days countdown. What's yep. what's going on? What what are we expecting? <laughs> so yeah, I mean that's that's a countdown to our pre-sale. So um just early adapters to our game. Uh we're gonna have a, a crystal, which is essentially kind of like a loot box in a sense, and it'll contain okay. eight to ten uh heroes, which are the characters in our game. Okay. Um, so eight to 10 heroes and they're all going to have a pre-sale skin. So it's just a, this unique skin 
only for pre-sale. It's never going to be uh, created after. So it'll be a very rare and unique item throughout the lifespan of the game. And there's also going to be one character in there that's pretty cool looking. <laughs> um, you know, he's only unique to the pre-sale. But, you know, all these characters, they're, they're 3D modeled, animated and such. Um, a lot of efforts going into them and you basically can then use those characters and use them in the game. Like they're going to have in-game stats and you're going to be able to battle with them once we go into beta later this year. So cool. Cool. pretty cool. So, so for yeah. some of the gameplay, is it, uh, is it RPG? Is it virtual? How, how we, we so it's, interact? it's more like, uh, like Pokemon. So it's, I mean, it's, it's different than Pokemon though. It's, it's a live PVP. So you're always going to be playing against another I see. player. Okay. Um, and there's going to be different ranks on, you know, an ELO, we call it an ELO rank basis. Um, so it's just, you know, how you perform, you put in this rank and this way you're playing against players that are the same skill level as you. So okay. it's, it's going to be a live and our E3 trailer does show a quick glimpse of it, but yeah. you have essentially six or so uh, heroes of yours in your battle squad. And nice. you've got to use those guys to fight the others. And there's like a little stamina bar that's progressively filling up. And nice. each time you use a move, it consumes stamina. So um, okay. a lot of strategy and intense stuff going into it. It's going to be live, like just one-on-one. -on -one. It's not turn-based. So it, it's exciting to see how it plays. Oh, man. All right. So yeah. actually, let's play a little clip of that trailer. Bam, you saw it. It's going amazing. <laughs> um, cool. So, so actually, that's that's what I was going to ask next. You said it's not it's not move my move. It's one on one. And yep. do you so for your characters, do you have to feed them every day? Is it what no. Can... <laughs> no, no? I mean, um, take them to sleep. They're there. They're they're chilling. They're waiting, <laughs> waiting to battle. Um, no, I mean the only the only thing it, it's kind of like you your Pokemon. I mean, the more you're you're gonna have a, a progression system to where you can give experience we call it crypto dust and um you can give them crypto dust and they level up and nice, the majority nice. of our heroes is like they start as like you know a starter evolution you know like a little cute thing and then <laughs> you can develop or evolve them into another not as cute thing but it's like a teenager <laughs> and then you evolve them to the adult who's just badass so mm. um you know there's there's a lot of stuff like that going on but you don't have to come back and feed them or anything and okay. the game's going to be free to play as well. Um, oh. Yeah, so completely free to play. <laughs> you have the option to pay, you know, for, you know, goodies and such. But Power ups. <laughs> free to play. We want um, as many players to be able to play on the mobile market wet, through the web-based game. Uh, you know, we just feel like we need as many people knowing about what blockchain can do. So we want yeah. to keep it free yeah. to play. I mean, I, I see, I see crypto gaming like War of Crypto as a as a win 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 win. Um, because so. you, I tell people, you know, just just have fun with crypto. You know, learn about it. Yeah, yeah, you can invest in it, but you don't want to be stressing out about. <laughs> no, exactly. I mean, exactly. I mean, you know, it's just there's a lot of benefits from the blockchain. I mean, just to kind of give you an example from our experience. Um, before War of Crypto, we have a big project called PokeFine, which brings like Pokemon to Minecraft with no mods or anything. Nice. So it's been a pretty big success. We have like 1.6 million users on it. Whoa. Uh, yeah. So, um, but the problem that happens there is that people, a lot of times they start doing like these black market trading. <laughs> so they're like, okay, you know, I have this Pokemon. Yeah. You want it. So give me money. So the player starts giving them money. Oh. Then they don't get the Pokemon or anything. So it's like, it's super hard for us to battle. I mean, we just oh. have to say, if you do stuff like that, you're banned. Yeah. But I see. Like blockchain, you know, you're able to kind of prevent a lot of those scenarios because you're sending it to the blockchain and they have to verify it does all the verification and it it just solves that. So that's that's a huge problem that is in the gaming industry. We face it I see yeah. on our end. So yeah, I mean, just a lot of benefits I mean, to educate people on about blockchain. Yeah, I want to say that um, another cool thing about blockchain is imagine imagine be, being able to own the character Pac Man or Super Mario. Oh yeah, you know, it's it may be worth a thousand more. bitcoins. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, it's really cool. I mean, the, the true ownership of it. And I mean, it's it's yours. It's like buying like a stuffed animal and <laughs> keeping it. 
So it's really cool. It's, it's cool what you're able to do with it uh, for sure. Cool. Oh, really quick. So how can we all get a t-shirt or how can we order that? <laughs> oh no. Giveaways. What's going on with those t-shirts? <laughs> uh, with the t-shirts, uh, I was a bit selfish and I kind of just like <laughs> made it for ourselves uh, for E3. Um, nice, nice. I mean, maybe we might have something down the line. Um, you know, I'd like, Right now, we're just really just focused on development, so I didn't even put any thought to it. You're putting me on the spot with that one, but <laughs> um, I mean, I, I think down the line, we would like to kind of uh, look into the merch side of things and okay. do a lot cooler stuff than just slapping a logo on our shirt, which is just cool. for E3, cool. but um, it's funny you brought that up. <laughs> cool. Uh, so, so we have the pre-sale coming up. Uh, yeah. How much? How much are the characters going for? What What do people have to, I guess, hold in their bag, you know, to get these characters? Yeah. So I mean, uh, I mean, we're still kind of working out the system a little bit. I mean, okay. what we, I mean, we're working a lot with our um, community, especially like in Telegram, Discord, and stuff, and kind of hearing them out. Uh, the original plan was like the first crystal starts free, ah. and then from there, you know, after each crystal gets bought, it in the price just gradually increases so like I people see. who are like super invested in war of crypto early on you know they're benefiting I and see. as more crystals get bought you know the price is just higher and higher so you know they're the value in theory of heroes just kind of go up in okay. uh, price and cool so i mean that that was the original but we are getting some feedback from the community so there's <laughs> probably going to be some slight changes that we're going to be pitching to them and hearing them out and um, but it's it's going to be relatively similar around that platform. Uh, but there's some ideas floating around where like the first one's going to be a fixed price just in case you get in late. I so, see. Um, you know, we'll be making an announcement relatively soon about that. Cool, man. It's I mean, yeah, I would I need a I need a few timers on my desktop just to remind me of everything. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I can I can remind you. Don't worry. <laughs> now listen, War of Crypto. I got stickies on my desktop. You guys are like number one. I got my Discord open every day, so I'm like. That's awesome, man. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. That's awesome. Yeah, I um, yeah. Just so for me, last year I got into crypto, and when you when you're first getting into crypto, you know you're kind of tippy toeing. You're like, oh yeah. Okay, is this good? Is it is it vaporware? Is it a solid team? You know, yeah. now I'm, I'm, you know, hit underwater. But uh, the cool thing is, you know, you definitely want to see, like you guys, transparent, you're active, you know, open community. And that's really key for me is all about community, you know. Yeah, no, I, I appreciate it. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're huge into the community. I mean, I didn't really mention much, but like I started my career in gaming where I was actually like making money, not just spending money. <laughs> playing video games but you know <laughs> you know through youtube and stuff and you know the channel got like 650k subs or so but so Beautiful. it did well so like that's kind of where i really learned like the power of a community and and respecting them and hearing them out and we took that into pokey find and you know we're really involved so i appreciate you noticing that and uh speaking out on it cool man awesome. um any any easter eggs you can give us any tips and tricks that we can <laughs> Easter eggs. Uh, huh. He's like, not yet. <laughs> Let me think of something so I don't get in trouble. Uh, Easter eggs. Um, uh, well, I guess the unique character for our pre-sale is going to be a dog. So that's pretty, oh. pretty dope. <laughs> yeah, he, he's a cool little guy. He's awesome. So, um, all right. Uh, yeah, I mean, I can... How about this? I'll send you a little video <laughs> of the dog and then you can do whatever you want with it. You get in there. Cool. Yeah. Cool. I'll give you a little present. Now this is dope, man. Dope. 18 days. I'm excited. And Oh, share a little bit about your experience at E3. I know we were supposed to link up there, but uh, yeah. got a little rerouted. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, E3, it was dope. I mean, it's always been like a dream of mine just going to E3. Like I used to religiously just like follow <laughs> E3 because that's, that's where the big games go out. Um, so, yeah. you know, or even the console. So it, it was really cool to finally like go there and be like, wow, 
I'm at E3, but it was just even cooler to be like, wow, I'm at E3 and I'm at a booth showing yeah. the game. So game. Um, yeah. it was very interesting. And one thing that really surprised me was there's a lot of people just interested in blockchain and how yeah. it can work with gaming. Uh -huh. um, that, that was the biggest surprise to me and how many people like at your industry, you know, standard gaming convention, mm -hmm. so many of these industry guys just talking and, and looking into blockchain technology uh, stuff. Yeah, I mean, it was a really, really cool experience. Really cool. Like, Dan, man, it's going to be people like you that's the leaders, really, that people will come to and say, okay, how'd you do it? You know, how do we, you know, optimize our game? How yeah. That's, that's really what it's about. I mean, I see. I mean, time will tell for sure. Time <laughs> will tell. Um, you know, we're just, we're just trying to build the best game we can, a fun game that myself would play. And if I was still doing my YouTube days record, uh -huh. um, you know, that's, that's the top priority for us. And, and just kind of making the blockchain just mesh well with the gameplay. So yeah, or that, crypto. community can kind of take it upon themselves and guide it where it wants to go. But, you know, we're just trying our best. You guys are like you're you're reverse engineering the Terminator. <laughs> once once you release War of Crypto, we'll be sent into the future. <laughs> <laughs> that would be dope, but I mean we'll, we'll have to see. It'll, it'll be an exciting year, a, a long, exciting year. So, cool. All right, so that's uh that's really all I wanted to ask you today. Like I said, 18 days to get the count. 18 days and 18 hours. So it's almost 19 yep. days you will be able to collect, play, a marketplace is coming as well. Um, yeah, that'll be coming out later. So will you guys, will you be using on a platform, will be a, a mixture of Ethereum, Engine, and your crystals? Yeah, so I mean, in terms of payment method, is that what you're asking? Yeah, yeah. Payment. Oh, okay, so in terms of payment method, um, you'll have fiat um, as well. So that's another oh. option. Oh, I mean, cause yeah, we're, we're, we're open. I like, we're open <laughs> to everyone. Like we want gamers <laughs> to know about this. And so there's a lot of gamers that aren't in the crypto space. So, I see. I see. um, you know, Sophia, uh, Ethereum engine, we're looking into trying to do Bitcoin as well and stuff. Time. Okay. Will tell. Um, but yeah, I mean, we want gamers involved. So if they want to pay with fiat, um, I see. So, I mean, so like the whole lore behind War of Crypto is it's kind of like a lot of like metaphors with like crypto and stuff so that people who aren't crypto heads, uh -huh. they just, you know, they read about the lore and they start, you know, okay. uh, learning about it. Like the evil guys have like a cool name that I won't reveal right now, but um, a cool name that kind of just... Uh, Actually, it's, it's centralized. So there you go. There's another Easter egg. So, you know, it's kind of like a lot of things that just play so that whoever follows a game as a gamer and reads about yeah. the lore and everything about it. I see. In the back of their head, they have some knowledge about, you know, what the blockchain is all about, um, cool. even though they might not know it, that they knew that. So, that, so that's what we're trying to achieve, you know. So would you, say, doing, uh, would you say War of Crypto will be – simple enough will be led through to where someone that's not in cryptocurrency they can still come in and uh just follow along and play oh yeah follow along and play for sure yeah um that that's definitely the goal that's that's what we're doing um you know at the end of the day we all have a responsibility you know to educate people on yeah. what this is i mean yeah. it's for it to go mainstream so you know we're trying to play our role and trying to educate gamers the best way we can even though they're not into cryptocurrency at all <laughs> you know see how it goes i mean it's a young demographic so we're hoping that you know we can give them some rough background knowledge so as they grow up and develop you know I they, they can kind of grow up into this world of uh, blockchain and cryptocurrency so we'll see yeah. how it all plays out cool all right so how can people contact you where should they go what's the call of action well i mean you know, you guys can head over to our site uh, and there you can find all our social media. So we're active on Twitter, Telegram, Discord, Reddit. I mean, you name it. I'll, I'll be there. Beautiful. So. All right. Thanks so much for tuning in. And I mean, we may just do like an unpacking on the, on the uh, launch date or we'll see what's coming up. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I'd love to help out in any way I can and probably help out your community. We can do a small little giveaway as well if we want. Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, awesome. and like I said, thank you, you. Yeah, thank you. You know, I kind of, everyone I talk to, I thank everyone for doing the work that they're doing and uh, being transparent, being honest, and uh, just really building this.
crypto community and the gaming community as a whole. Yeah, no, I appreciate it. Thank you for the kind words, my friend. Cool, man. All right, peace out. I got, I'm about to go hit the beach here in California. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky. Just rubbing it in. <laughs> cool. All right, savages, stay tuned. Make sure you like, share, subscribe this video. And uh, we're going to have lots more fun. And this countdown, like all countdowns, I just can't wait for that last day. Uh, <laughs> oh, so thanks for tuning in. Again, like, share, subscribe. Go head over to warofcrypto.io right now and leave your email address. Get in that pre-sale. Don't miss out. All right, Dan. Peace. Peace.